Hello everyone, I'm going to have another video on socialism and this one is a second one talking about making education universities more affordable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to present a lot of my different ideas. I'm going to repeat what I said in the, uh, the previous video. People want free university education because university education is expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. When you're a college alone, it can take years to pay off. It is just this, you know, with the a ridiculous expense and the interest compounded and you're like an indentured service it, servant it seems forever and that's when you're just trying to start out and you're just trying to you're you're having a used car which sometimes breaks down and you know you can't always afford to take care of your health and you know you just all these different expenses and you still got this loan to pay for it's like can you just can you help me breathe here can you just help me breathe with this so that's why people want free education, right? It's not because they're selfish or they want to give me, give me, give me. It's a lot of conservatives say, oh, give me, give me, give me for nothing. You know, it's not that. It's like, it's like, can you remove this boulder off my back? It's really, really heavy. I can't, I can't even be a productive citizen with this thing, right? So, all right. Also, keep in mind, you know, that I have, a, I'm familiar with the universities, obviously, because I have an advanced degree. And because I've taught at, you know, various levels, high school and college and universities and whatnot. Okay? Teaching is my thing. Teaching is what I do. Not to mention I still have loans that I'm paying off myself from the college degrees. All right. So here's just a bunch of my ideas. All right. And if I can come up with these ideas, other people can come up with good ideas as well. All right. So. Um, I just, in no particular order, I've been working on these for a couple days. Zero percent interest loans. Uh, right now we get college loans, right? But the interest stacks up. What if we took off that interest? Right, we still have to pay the loan money back, but at least it'd be paying for that amount. Right now the loans are loans interest rates pretty much averaged about two and a half to three times what the original thing is. So as some analogies here, if you're going to borrow a ladder, the person says, okay, I want you to return a ladder when you're done, plus two other ladders as well. If you borrow a car, say I want my car back, but I also want two other cars as well. And that's what we're kind of talking about when the, when the interest compiles here. So what if we just chopped it down, then it'd be like, okay, I only have to pay for one car, not three. I only have to pay for one ladder, not three. <laughs> you know. I only have to pay for one college degree, not three, when I only got one. So a 0% interest loan, I think, would be beneficial. That's not free education, but it certainly helps out everybody who's trying to pay it off. Also, there will be less default on loans. Because default come come from a variety of reasons. Um... You know, the economy, guess what, you know. But the um, the high interest itself, if it's a lower interest rate, or zero interest rate is better, the loan is more likely to be paid off. Less default. Right? So, more money going back. All right? So, very few, very few defaults on loans then. Okay? So, there's that. Um, no income taxes. No income taxes when you are just starting out. I believe this. Of course, the income taxes in general should only be of people who are making ridiculous amounts of money. I mean, like at least, you know, $500,000 and above. You know, that should be the income tax that's people are income taxed. But even then, you know, let's don't even start the people who are just starting out. You know, you just got graduated, you got a degree. Now you got a, a loan for $120,000. And you got to find rent, and you got to pay your bills, and you got a used car that you're trying to keep up with. And, you know, why don't we just nix the income tax when you are just starting out? If you have college loans, you pay no income tax. No income tax. First of all, you can't afford it. And you're not really helping the government with trillions of dollars. No, it's losing losing 
a few million people with their income tax is not going to make a big loss in the government. Okay, so the government's not losing that much. But the people will help a lot. They can then take that money they're not paying to the government and slap it down on their loans. Boom, 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 boom. And their loans will be gone very soon. So no income tax at all while you're still paying your college loans. Similarly, no Social Security. Why would you be thinking about Social Security when you're still paying out your college loans? That's a long ways off in your lifetime. Okay, so... So I say as long as you're paying your college loans, there's some checkbox thing in there that says still paying off my loans, don't have to pay Social Security. There you go. And then, then once you're... Once you've paid your loans, then you can, yes, pay your Social Security, and you can, you know, be income tax and all that stuff. Okay? But it'll certainly help the person out, get faster on his feet, get faster being a productive member of society, no defaults, no stress, no mental health issues, no anything, because they just go boom, boom, boom. Basically, even just pay off their loans, done, and then they can start off life within a couple years. Free and clear. Okay, there's that. All right. Um, I would also want these zero interest loans to go to everybody. Everybody. Okay. Right now, the government and other places that gives loans and scholarships does not give them out to the people who need them. I'll tell you that. There's a big chunk of people that's not getting them, and that is white males. As a white male, I know this. There are no scholarships for white males. Nope. And you want to try to get a 0% loan? Forget it. You want to get a grant? Forget it. Not for white males. For black? Sure. Hispanic? Sure. Female? Sure. You know, daughter of the Israeli prime minister? Sure. But if you're an ordinary person, white male, trying to get a scholarship or a low interest loan, forget it, not gonna happen. So that's another thing I wanna say, is that give it, give, give the scholarships and give them zero interest loans to everyone, everyone, all right? Particularly the white males who have been neglected for at least 50 years. There's a side note here I'll talk about. A lot of people talk about socialism. If you we give money, we find out to give them to drug people, and they're just going to live off drugs. Hey, did you give them to the white people? Did you give them to white Americans? Did you give them to white Americans in California and in Oregon and in Nebraska? Because let me tell you, the low-income white males in those areas will take that money and they will run with it. So you're not giving to the right person. That's a whole other video. But same thing happens with the scholarships and zero interest loans. Give it equally to everybody. Everybody's open to it. Everybody gets it. There'll be some qualifying standards otherwise, but definitely, you know, just make it available. Yeah. All right. Um... Means. Financial wealth. There could be a, a financial test to giving before you give zero interest loans, um, but there really shouldn't be. Now, if you're giving scholarships, that's different. Scholarships should only go to people who are average middle income, not to those people who come from the wealthy families. So, right there. So that's another way that college can be more affordable, because those who can't afford it already they pay. Those who can't afford it, including white males, they can get the scholarships. Okay? All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, university paying for itself. All right? Some universities do this to a certain degree, but they don't do it enough. But they don't. They don't really use the money to the, to the university or the people. They give it to administration, or they give it to certain staff, or whatever. But So let's do this. Okay, football. 
football is big. Any sports are big. Football, soccer, baseball, basketball, media attention, it's entertainment. They make lots of money, right? Money, 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 money. Well, shouldn't that money go to the university? All right, if it's a money, if it's how you make money, it should go back to the university, all right? Imagine this. Imagine a father goes out to work, then takes all his money and just puts it in his own pocket. Doesn't give any of it to his family. Shouldn't he give his money to the family as well as to himself? That's what it's like. The football is a money maker of the university, therefore should give money to the whole university, not just to things associated with football. Now if it does that, a lot of that media, because it's worth millions of dollars, then these millions of dollars of entertainment and advertising and whatever else, goes back into the university and spread around. Reduce the cost of the university for staff and facilities, reduce the cost of students to get their education. Okay? All right. Um, university patents, same thing. Universities that have patents, licensing, that money goes to pay for the university. Of course, primarily it'll pay for the science departments and for their facilities and for their teachers. And that's fine, even if you can't spread around through the whole university. Just imagine if you have, you know, a handful of inventions that are, uh, let's say it's a mechanical engineering department, and they've got three inventions that are doing well. All right, it's been licensed, and over, you know, 20 years, those particular three inventions are giving money to the mechanical engineering department. They don't need any other money from the university or from the government or from students to pay for the facilities because they're getting it through their patents. And if the university doesn't have to pay for that, they don't have to pass it on to the students to pay for that or the government to pay for that. See what I'm saying? So even if you do patents just for a few patents for the mechanical engineering department, a few man uh, patents for the electrical engineering department, um, and even just self funds that area, at least it's taking the expenses away, more expenses away from overall expenses, which you can lower the cost of tuition and lower lower the cost for the, the students. Okay, so on, so forth. Um, I want to make sh this short, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Da, 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 da. Oh, um, winners of state and national competitions. Winners of state and national competitions could be get a, a reduction in their fees. I mean, heck, look, if you have five people um, on some sort of an academic team, a science team, an engineering team, and they win a state competition or a national competition, they're doing well. Reward them. Reward those students and reward the teachers, certainly. Um, reward the students by giving them a cut in their tuition for the next year and reward the teachers by giving them a bonus for the next year. Okay? So, you know, things you can do like that. Something else you can do. Um, I really want to cut this short. I want to cut this short. Eliminate useless degrees. Eliminate useless degrees, particularly women's studies, black studies, all those kinds of things. Eliminate all those things. They're useless, they don't do anything, eliminate them. So if you eliminate the staff, eliminate the professors there, eliminate the departments there, eliminate everything there, poof, that's less expense on the university and less overall cost to pass on to the students. Okay, so eliminate women's studies and black studies and all that other stuff. Keep studies in Western civilization, that's the one thing that's important. Keep studies in Western civilization. From the Greek to the Romans to the Renaissance to the Enlightenment, from Aristotle to Newton to Tesla, you know, keep all that. You know, keep all those ideas, keep all those teachings. But women's studies, that's useless and 
all that other stuff. So get rid of useless departments, save the expense, pass on the cost to the savings cost to the students. All right, uh, a bit longer than I wanted, but um, I think there's some good ideas, and I'm sure you can come up with plenty of your own.